Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. I want to talk today about this whole thing that went down in Nashville. It's it's a complete shame. It's a disgrace. It's it's just awful. And I, I'm going to try in my own inimitable fashion to try to give you both sides of the story that I can see. Uh, I mean, the story's not over. They haven't got all the details or all the facts yet. They don't have, but even as it happened and the news stories started breaking and things were, I mean, I sort of had my own <sighs> thoughts and feelings about it. See, I equate it in my mind. I equate it with, you know, the, the Twin Towers and the, the Oklahoma bombing and the, you know, I, I kind of put it in that same pigeonhole, I guess, for lack of a better term. It's, it's frustration in a lot of cases, you know. Now, before I say what I'm going to say, I want you to know, I want to preface it by saying that I am not condoning what this person did or what Timothy McVeigh did or what any of these people do. I'm not condoning it, but I understand it. I empathize with what's going on because I have felt that way myself. I have had points in my life where I thought, okay, it's time to buy a gun and just start blowing people away. Like not just innocent people, people that I'm angry that won't change things. I've, I've, I've been there. I've had those dark thoughts from the frustration, from the anger, from the despair, from the feeling of being crushed so badly that there's nothing left. I've had that feeling and I know how that feels. And the people in power don't care enough about you to try and change it. As long as their bank accounts keep going up, you mean nothing. You're a means to an end. You're not even a number. You are lower than a maggot in their books. The honest, open truth. Your government does not care about you at all. You've been bought and sold and thrown under the bus 50 years ago. And people in society, each one of them eventually reach a point where they feel they've got no, there's nothing more dangerous than someone with nothing to lose. And they don't get it through their head that that's why things happen. And innocent people pay the price. And it's never the right people that get their asses blown off. And they deserve it. Trust me on this. They deserve it. If there's justice in heaven and hell, these bastards are going to be burning forever. But unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Because I don't believe that's what happens after you die. You don't pay for your sins here. At least not properly. I wish it was. Because I'd like to be there to see it so that I could laugh at their ass. But that is not the way it works, unfortunately, people. It's never going to change until we all come to the same realization. If we don't help each other, it keeps getting worse. These people reach a point where they don't feel anything is left except to, to start blowing things up and making because they're at the end of their rope. And then the, the media and the governments and the people in charge make them look like they're the idiots. But in reality, they're not the idiots. They've reached the end of their rope because these people have pushed them to that. That is the reason that these things happen. Because these people push you to that. And until these people start realizing that they've got to stop doing this crap, it's going to keep going on, people. So I'm telling you, I, I'm, I, and I know that I may as well throw bricks in the Grand Canyon, but I'm, I'm, when I talk to these people in power, start loosening up the crap they're not going to do it. They're never going to. They will never, ever do it. 
It's going to take a giant revolution for things to change again. Look at history. Have things ever been, has there ever been a smooth transition of any kind of power in history? I can't think of one. From Romans to the wars to the civil war to the, there's never ever been a smooth conflict. In a lot of cases, it's not stupidity. It's just greed and power hungry people that think they've got the best and they don't. And until these people stop making it that that's the only way to make transitions, this is going to keep going on and it's going to get worse and worse and worse until we're all dead. And then what are they going to do? They're just going to have to sit on their bank accounts and go, what do we do now? Because that's all it is. People in power, please stop being so stupid. These things can be stopped if you wanted to. But you don't want it to because you don't care about the people that are getting killed and maimed and injured and whatever because it's not your ass on the line. And that's what I'm telling you, folks. That's the real bottom line. Now, if you can find a nonviolent way to make the changes and make things happen, for God's sake, let's do it. Because the violence doesn't, the violence doesn't change anything. It makes it worse. It makes everybody else look. Violence isn't the answer. Although I, again, I understand why you come to that. Because just talking to you guys right here and now, I got a rock in my stomach, like, or in my, I just, I just want to explode just talking about it. So I understand that, but that's not the answer. And, I, and deep down in my purest form of whatever, I know that's not the answer. I understand it. I want to do it. I want to be there for it, but it's not the answer. We've got to find a way to do it that isn't violent, that isn't that doesn't cause damage, that doesn't kill people. There's got to be a way out there to make the changes without all of that in there. And I've been bracking my brain since I was five, believe it or not, to try to understand why things don't change like that. But it doesn't happen. Stupid, ignorant, greed, there's a million reasons of why people do things, but why can't it change? I don't know. Do you have any explanations? Do you have any comments? Please enlighten me. Tell me what you think. Is there any possible easy way to, well, no, there's no easy way, but you know, like nonviolent way of doing it. People have been trying, like, the 60s with all the protest songs. They tried, look, look at a protest that happened in the 60s. God, they tried to change things. What did they do? They beat them down. People are stupid. People in power are stupid. Let's make a change. It's time. In fact, it's way past time. We've been out of the caves for a long time. The only thing we are is a technologically advanced killing machine. It's all we are. Make the change, people. That's my message today. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be.